So, the other day I was given a Razer headset, and I've got to say, it's really nice. It's probably one of the most comfortable headsets I've ever owned. And of course, with it being a headset, even though it does connect through USB, it still works perfectly fine for all that sort of stuff on Linux. But of course, that's not really why you buy a Razer headset. You know, you don't buy it to use it as a headset per se. You buy it for all the cool lights and stuff, and, you know, the equalizer that they have built into their app with all the cool presets and stuff. And of course, you know, your surround sound and all that kind of thing. It's all pretty cool while you're gaming. And what I wanted to know is how much of that can you get working on Linux? Well, of course, all the headset features work, you know, the microphone, the headphones, that sort of stuff. And the lights also work, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get those working. Now the equalizer doesn't matter, you can use any equalizer program, but the official one of course doesn't work. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the lights working on pretty much any Razer gear, right now, on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get a Razer headset, or really any piece of Razer hardware, set up on Linux, configure the lights, and all that cool stuff. And I've got to say, it really is almost as good as having it on Windows. It works really well. Now first, I've got to say, for this video, uh, for the purposes of demonstration, I'll be using Arch Linux. And the reason being is because this is by far the easiest distribution to get your Razer gear set up on. Um, but also it seems to be the, the distribution that gamers sort of gravitate towards. So if you have a lot of Razer hardware, maybe consider going with something like Arch or Manjaro because it's really easy to get everything set up. Now, to make this easier for me to demonstrate, I've gone ahead and made some notes. If you want to just pause the video and read these instructions, well, it should be easily done. But if you want to see me go through it, of course, I'll do that. Now the first thing that you need to do is install the Linux headers, which literally just as simple as installing any other package. If you're on Manjaro, you might want to do it through the GUI, but I'm on Arch, so I'm going to show you how you do it through the terminal on both Manjaro and Arch. So it's literally as simple as running this command. As you can see, sudo pacman-s linux headers, run that and it will go ahead and install it. But of course we don't need to do that because we already have those installed. The next thing you need to do is you need to get some packages from the AUR. Now if you're running Manjaro, the default graphical package manager will let you install packages from the AUR. But if you're running Arch, you might want to get yourself an AUR helper to make things easier. I'm going to assume that if you're running Arch Linux, you probably know how to get everything installed. But if you don't, uh, I would recommend EA. Look up how to install that online. It's not necessarily difficult. And you just need to run this command. EA-S and then the names of all of those packages. Now, I won't you know, manually type them all in. It's easy enough to get them all installed. But I will say, probably get the dash git version. You can just take that end off and you'll get the stable version of all of these packages. But I'm going to probably recommend you don't do that. The reason being is that for, you know, a lot of Razer hardware, it's not yet supported in the stable version, and my headset is actually a fairly popular Razer device, and it's still not yet supported in the stable version, so get the Git version, it'll save you quite a lot of a headache. Now, once you've got those installed, there's one command that you need to run just to get everything working, and that's sudo gpassword-a, your username here, and then plug down which I've already run that again, so I don't need to do it again. And then you want to go ahead and reboot. And once you've done that, you should see, if we go into our start menu type thing, and if we scroll down, here it is, polychromatic tray and polychromatic config. So if we just go ahead and launch that, and there you go, we can see that it's detected our headset, and it'll give you all the options you could ever want for it. And yes, indeed, that does change the settings. You know, you can change what lighting effects you want, non, breath, static. It's not quite as extensive as the, you know, official Razer program on Windows, but that's kind of to be expected. And, you know, you can go into an overview and you can see what firmware you've got installed, all that sort of stuff. You can go into the settings and there's a few things that you can change here. You can have it run as a tray applet, which is kind of cool. You can, you know, configure the colors and stuff and you can configure the driver. So all in all, that's just been a quick video on how to get your Razer hardware working on Linux. It's not necessarily complicated to get everything set up, but 
it was a bit of a headache for me as I was trying to get it to work, so hopefully with this video I should make it all, you know, fairly easy to get working for anyone who comes along and wants to use their Razer hardware on Linux. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope it was useful to you, and I will see you in the next one.